Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in Harmer is called the Harmonic Bass Lead, and it can kind of function in two different types of ways. It can be a bass, and it can be a lead, which is pretty obvious by the name. So with that being said, we have modulation X and Y attached to the cutoff and the resonance. So let's check this out and see how this sounds. So that was more so the bass kind of sounds. We can also play it a little bit higher up and kind of get a different type of lead or maybe some chordal type of sounds if we'd want to. So there's a lot of different ways to play this patch. So with that being said, let's dive into this thing. So we're gonna be using parts A and part B. So let's turn off B for now and let's go to our effects and turn off the delay, the reverb and the compression, which we had on heating. So for the first part, it's gonna sound something like this. Let's put our macros back to the center here. So this is gonna be the first sound we're gonna get. The volume envelope is gonna be something kind of similar to this, quick attack a little bit of decay and then the uh, the release is kind of a decent tail now moving on from there we're going to be using the saw wave all the way to the left we're not going to be worried about start or random for this side now for the sub the first one is going to be about 50 percent the subharmonic level one is going to be at 0.0, .0 db or a value of one the second one, the subharmonic three, is going to be 2.2 dB and the value 1.29. The third is going to be at the bottom. The protect knob or the protect slider is going to be all the way at the top. Make sure to use protection. And if you're not sure what that is, check out the video or the, the playlist I've done for Harmer where we go through everything like this and uh, leave no stone unturned. So moving on from there, this is going to be using a custom shape for the filter. Now we can go to this drop down menu here and go to filter shape one. Now this is the shape that I've made for our first filter and kind of just moved the different nodes around and kind of just wanted to make a certain type of sound. So it's kind of going down here and then it goes back up to a sharp peak and then has a pretty steep drop off. So that's kind of just playing around with the filter and just kind of finding a cool sound that, that uh, you know might work for something like that. Now, if we go to the frequency itself, right click that, go to edit articulator, we have here the modulation X mapping, which is down over here. So this is basically just a saw wave going upwards. And that's kind of how we modulate this X and Y over here so we can move the, uh, the cutoff with our handy dandy mod X knob. Now from there, we can also go to the resonance, which is gonna be Y. So we right click this, go to edit articulator. And by default, this knob that we change to 57% is gonna be a little bit past halfway, obviously. And then we go to the modulation Y mapping down over here, and it's gonna be the same shape. And this is why this Y over here works if we want more or less resonance. So depending on the sound we're kind of going for, that's kind of where we want to play with that as. Now for the tuning over here on the pitch, we have this one up at two. It should be default by one, so make sure to turn this up to two. And then this over here, I put it to 0.0029 just to get a little bit more differences out of that, make a little bit more unique type of sound. So that is part A. So let's take a look at part B over here. So let's turn off A, let's turn on B, and let's take a look at this here. So we're kind of getting that like almost farty, low-endy saw wave. So we see that this is going to be a saw wave as the mix knobs all the way to the left, no sub or protect that's gonna be off over here. And we're not really using anything for the crude low pass or stuff like that or the resonance. So these are all gonna be at their default values. And moving on from there, this is going to be up at four. So we're detuning this and make sure this is gonna be at four for the pitch over here and no fine tuning stuff that we did on part A. This is kind of just fine right over here. And that's really pretty much all we needed to do. It's not very difficult or crazy involved. Just shoot a couple of macros and kind of blending some two interesting sounds together. So with both parts on. Now the rest is going to be in effect. So we dive over here and we had delay on. So let's turn this on and we had normal. 
and for the delay input volume 50 percent for the filter it's going to cut off at 140 and then for the high cut is going to be 2859.13 if you want to be exact and then the feedback is 61 percent we also have this dot or this light over here on so make sure to turn that guy on and then for the time three and then the delay time stereo offset 25 percent next up we're going to reverb it's going to be an f for the settings and then the filter is going to be cutting off 211 the high cut about 4k the reverb pre-delay zero, the size 40, the diffusion 100%, decay 1,400 and let's see what it says, 1,493 milliseconds, the damping 4K, and then the, uh, the wet signal is going to be 50%. Last up, we have compression, which is going to be going to heating, I believe we had it on, and the amount's going to be 50%, the low, we're kind of dragging that down a little bit to 37%, the mid's going to leave that at 50, and then the highs are going to 66%. So you can totally play this as a bass, or maybe even like a pad if you really wanted to. Yeah, so the play style is very important for this patch. It can do kind of a few different things. So depending on what you're doing, you can play it in a totally different way. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there is a link in the video description below and it can be yours. If you're unsure how to install it, there's this little triangle menu up here at the top left. You click that, go to save preset as, and that's going to open up a directory. And that's going to be the folder that you want to copy that into. So that's going to be the way the Harmer is going to find the patch. So with that being said, thank you for watching and let's play this out with harmonic, bass, lead, or pad, or really whatever else you want to do. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.